<laughs> behind members. I'm Christian. And uh, welcome back to episode two of RealCast. The first one was great. It was a lot better than the original one. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck Ollie, out the way. I showed you Ollie's, Ollie's yeah. thumbnail. She did a great job. She did a good job. She did. And then uh, most importantly, we got Bernie Mac on here. Yes, we got a bigger portrait of Bergie Ber- Ber- Mac. Bergie, Bergie Mac. Ber- I know what I said. Hey, Bergie Mac. But, um, yeah, so yeah. on this podcast. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right, thanks for listening. <laughs> no, uh, we got a couple couple topics to talk about uh, well, this let's week. Let's dive into it. A wee. A wee. Okay, so first two is going to be like a few. Well, the first. <laughs> <laughs> The first two are going to be like a couple new things that are okay. interesting gaming wise. And then we're going to be talking about something a little movie related, okay. comic book related. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, dude. New yes, games. Yes. <laughs> PlayStation released some new games that they're coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. I didn't even see the trailer for it. So. Well, there, there's not a trailer. It's just like an announcement. Yeah. I mean, I heard about the announcement, but I didn't see any trailers. Or anything. I'm, ex- I'm excited because, I mean, Dad of Boy was the... That was a good game. It was, it was very different from like the original God of War game that came out. I see the only one I played was oh the PSP. Oh okay okay. I can't remember which God of War it was, but the, well those games were like I think those were like prequels. Were they? I believe so. And the cool thing about them is like PS3 ended up releasing a uh, a remaster of those games that you can play on the actual console itself. So that was pretty cool. Nice. Um, but yeah, so Dad of War. Uh, Ragnarok came out. Uh, uh, Spider Man Two for the PS Five that's coming out. Spider Man Two, the original Spider Man. No, 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 like a sequel to the PS Four game that came out. Oh, so that game's coming out. Uh, the exciting thing about that is that they showed off Venom. Yeah. So Venom's coming out in this game, and cool fact: uh, the voice of Venom in that game is the same voice who did like the Fallen, uh, Candyman, the original one. The hello. No I'm shit. Uh, Not the actor, but the well, voice. No, yeah, yeah, the actor. The actor? Uh, uh, what the fuck? He was in uh, Final Destination. Yeah, I he know was, who he was. About. He was the guy who like yeah. peer, who Man. pulled the the nipple out of the. No, what did he do? He pulled the ring out of the nipple. Mm. That part was weird in Final Destination. That, that whole series was just. And you know what's crazy? People were traumatized by that series. Like they didn't want to go out. They didn't want to drive <laughs> behind a truck with cars or I logs think, behind it. Uh, let me adjust myself. I know, dude. I think I the only thing out of the Final Destination films that like really freaked me out, that like made me kind of scared and conscious, was the the roller coaster. No, it was the was it the second one? I think it was the second one when they were driving behind the truck and like the the logs. The logs yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. part freaks me out because I'm like, it, it can just, happen. It it's can, so but... realistic out of all of them. Um, but the other ones. Real quick, before we go on any further, is there any other kills from? The Final Destination series that like, I think it was, I think it was the fourth one, fifth one. The guy tried to overdose on Advil and he threw them all up because he didn't want to live. Yeah, he didn't want to die. <laughs> but it and wasn't his time yet, or whatever. It wasn't his time, and then he got killed stupidly. If I remember right, it was like, it was, if I remember right, it was something to do with the ceiling fan. Or something. <sighs> I can't remember. It's been a long ass time since I've watched those. Movies. I know. We we should do like a binge of those soon. That'd be fun to do. I'd they're so, do they're so stupid and cheesy. I'd rather but... do Saw. Hello. You want to play a game? game? You know who is? Let's <laughs> <laughs> play a game. Sorry. Um, you need to stop. I can't. It's just stop. an endless endless cycle. I, I caught myself doing it last night. And I was like, no. I can't. You know who is? You know who is? Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Final days. Um, the scene where the lady was going to go get like laser eye surgery. Mm, and then yeah, like, was, the doctor leaves off and then some like electric. Wasn't that the sixth one? How many are there? <laughs> I think there's five, isn't there? I think there's more than that. Look it up. But yeah, that scene where oh, wait, the doctor wait, wait, leaves. Wait, 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 wait. What's up? The Twin Towers were the centerpieces of the World Trade Center complex. What does that mean? Last night we were talking about it. I was like, the World Trade? You mm-hmm. know how biggie? yeah, yeah. yeah. Twin Towers are part of the World Trade Center. Exactly. They are the World Trade Center. You were denying it last night, you bitch! No, you were saying... because The you're, Twin you're... Towers are the World Trade Center. Yes. Yes, I know that. I wasn't denying They're that. They're not separate. I know that. I'm saying... You were thinking when Biggie said blow up... Like the World Trade. Yeah. 
He was referring to blow up as in making a lot of money and getting famous. No. Because the World Trade Center was like a money no. financial area. When did Juicy... It doesn't matter when. It, the fact... Whatever. Anyways. No, you know what? Hold on. Anyways. What? You... He's just searching around. Yep. Just... Tippity tappity. Song came out in 1994. Mm-hmm. Biggie dropped the blow up like the world trade line. Yeah. Notorious B.I.G.'s Juicy in 9-11... I, it, it, no, I no, just shut no, up. No, just I don't shut see your it. mouth. You shut your dang mouth, boy. He dropped that before the World Trade, and you know there was four planes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, every, that's okay. Anyways, that's anywho. When he says blow up, he doesn't mean blow up, up as in just that shut way. Up. Just shut up. No, you shut bro, up. Bro, just shut up. You just shut, shut up. up, bro. You're wrong. You're, bro. you're sad because bro. you're wrong, bro. I'm not. I'm no. not sad. No, Ain't nobody sad. I'm gonna be sad when I'm driving home, but I'm not gonna be sad right now because I'm not sad. I'm actually getting pissed. You're driving home, real. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I don't even want to talk anymore. Good. So, <laughs> the next. Uh, Looks like my final destination. So she got, she got. <laughs> oh, you got the second one. Which one? Oh, Quiet Place. Yeah. Where'd you get it? As soon as it came out. Yeah. Huh. Is it? <laughs> what are you, Pee Wee Herman now? <laughs> but. <laughs> Remember, he got in trouble for jacking off in yeah, a in, in a the theater. theater. Yeah. Which I think it's bullshit because he was jacking off in a porn theater. Still, you can't you can't jack off in those things. You can't, but I mean, that's why you wear a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Can I get you anything? To- oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Just imagine watching a, a porn. It's already weird enough, like watching it's a weird, porn like- in a big theater with everyone else. Um, well, you know who made a, a gag about it? Uh, what was it? The movie The Departed. Jack Nicholson told him to meet Matt Damon there. Yeah. And he met him there. And he, he had a dildo. And he wore the trench coat. And he's like, man, I don't know where he's at. And he walked up and he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and he threw the dildo at him. <laughs> it was great. Uh, that, that scene was, that was funny. It was funny. I need to rewatch that movie because I haven't seen it in like so long. But. Um, Marky Mark fucking. Has, was that, that was another Marky Mark movie. Yeah, yeah it has Alec Baldwin in it. Has a uh, yeah. yeah fuck who else? Matt Damon, got a bunch of good actors, dude. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what was it going on about? Uh, Final destination. Yes. The just that. Just that scene. She gets locked up. Uh, when the doctor is like, "Oh, I gotta go do something." What happens? Like a drop of water hits the. It hits like the outlet or something, and it starts glitching out, and it just <sighs> goes on for too long, and it starts like piercing through her eye and shit. Mm. That move, that movie is fucked, but um, yeah. To to we're sidetracking yes, just there. Huh? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. So yes, there's that the PS5 Spider-Man game. Uh, next topic, the Matrix Four. Yes, that dropped and so I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. It does look good. And the first first time I saw the preview for it, I was. Drunk. That was the night I was drunk. Mm-hmm. Really fucked up. <laughs> and I sent it to you. I sent you a video. I was like, yo, do you know about this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Great. You sent me the same thing with... um Steve. Steve. Which, okay. We'll get on with that. We'll get on about that for a second. Uh, or in a second. But with Matrix 4, that movie looks interesting. Because the funny thing is, I know what happens in the third movie, but I've never seen it. Is that the, the one where they're fighting on top of the semi-trucks? That's the second one. That's the second one, right? Second Reloaded. One. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. There was Matrix, Matrix. R- Revelations was the second one, I think. No. Or Reloaded. I think it was Reloaded. Reloaded was the second. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Re- Reloaded was the second one. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> nice. And um, Maddox. I meant to put Matrix. Maddox. Okay. Which which one was which? There was Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions. And Animatrix. Animatrix. Oh, that that's actually pretty good. I, I haven't seen that one. The Animatrix. It's um, it's something they did back in two thousand nine, I think two thousand ten, where it was 
Warner Brothers ca- contacted a bunch of different anime studios to create their own like little short stories within the universe of the Matrix. And one of my favorite ones was like it was in the middle, I believe, and it basically just explained the whole like origin of how the Matrix was created, how they were the androids, the war where humans happened, blah blah blah. Huh. I got I got to show you. It's pretty good. Um Oh, I told you this. I'm not a big fan of like animated movie kind of things, but Yeah. There are some out there that what do you mean by that like anime like, you know, in general or like no 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 like like real life animated you know what i mean if that makes sense mm, like, like cg think, yeah so think about uh what was it resident evil you know when they did the anime oh animated? yeah i know i'm, I'm like not a big fan kinda, of that those kind of movies i'm not a big fan like of, when halo did their red and blue series or whatever and it was the was same YouTube. thing was, was that youtube yeah that <laughs> Shit. was youtube shut the fuck up <laughs> get, get the fuck, fuck out of here yeah get the fuck out of here um, actually in the animatrix, there is a part where like one of the short stories is like a CG animated. It, it was like a, just a training session between like two characters. And one of them was like, clearly like, you know, in a bikini fighting. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. I guess <laughs> it's whatever. It's boobies. I suppose boobs, boobs, but major four looks interesting. Um, cause it's, it's weird seeing Trinity. Cause I know that she spoilers. She dies in the third one. So Trinity is back. Oh, she came back, but you know what? It's part of the Matrix. Maybe it is. Maybe it has to be. Well, the thing is that he's—they're still referring to him as Thomas Anderson. So he's trapped in the Matrix again, Mister Anderson. Because he was talking to um, Neil Patrick Harris. He was like his therapist. Yeah, remember? that's right. Yeah. And he was just like, "Oh, you're not crazy. We're gonna give you. We're gonna prescribe you these blue pills." And he took a lot of those blue pills. There was a sink full of them or whatever. But yeah. Um, uh, Morpheus wasn't in it. I was gonna say, well, he was, but it's not. Um, what's his name? Why am I forgetting his name? Lawrence Fishburne. He's not back. Oh, he man. got he got recasted. It's that other guy, right? The he, one with the tan jacket or whatever. He was sending uh, Anderson through the the training. No, no, no. Did. That's uh, not him. Oh, I think that was him actually. I think that is him. Yeah. Um, different actor. I know the actor from. Someplace. Let me look it up real quick. Damn, I wonder if Hulu has Candyman on it. I don't watch that. It's... I don't know if Candyman's out. Is it out already? Oh, I'm talking the old one. Uh, actually, it is the guy from Candyman. It is? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I was okay. Like... From Us. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Us, Mad Max, The Wasteland, uh, Get Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He played... Uh, He played... What's his name? The Aquaman villain. I know who Black Manta. About. He played Black Panther and Aquaman. But yeah, he's the new Morpheus, so we'll see. We'll see what that that is, because it's just like, did they recast? Or was it like a reboot within the Matrix? Or like, is he is Morpheus so old now that like he put himself in a younger body? Uh, I'm excited for it, though. It looks good. It looks really good. Um, yeah. My only thing I'm worried about is just like, is it going to be bad like the last two? <laughs> I hope not. Because well, to me, the is... first Matrix was great. The yeah. second one was like, wasn't as good, but it was like decent. And then the third Matrix, they didn't I mean, I never saw it because I was told that it was just terrible. The first one, they really tried. They made that like a one hit wonder. It was good. It was great. The second one, I think they, how, what was the, 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 okay. what was the year gap between the first Matrix and the second one? Um, well, the first Matrix came out in like 1999 while the second one. Was it 03? I think 03 or 04 because I know I know that both Matrixes came out like six six months apart from each other. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because I think they filmed those two back to back. 03 was 03. Matrix Ma- Matrix 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 Reloaded Matrix came out in 99. 99. Yeah. That's not six months. No I'm saying the second to the third movie. Oh. Those two were like released at, yeah, like like very close together, which is weird. I don't think you ever see movies doing that. You know, I don't. I don't think I remember seeing the third one. I've seen the second one. The second one's the one with the, the two tracks. white guys and the in the dreads and all that. Yeah, that was weird. It was real weird. It's weird seeing white guys with dreads. Don't be racist. No, <laughs> not being racist. Just it's weird. It's, it's not something you see every day or ever again. But mm, corn. I'm excited for. Uh, I'm excited for that. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. We'll have to talk about it. 
Yeah, we'll talk about it in a second. Um, no, but no, yeah. no, 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 no. We'll talk about it next week. Next weekend. We'll take yeah. okay. Next weekend, we're gonna talk about something fun. It's gonna, it it's did. it's gonna be cool. Yeah, super nineties. <sighs> Speaking of nineties, right? Um, but yeah, so Matrix Four, I'm I'm excited for it. Yeah. I want to see if they're gonna like try to make another trilogy with it. Mm, I hope probably not. not. I hope not. I think this is gonna be the last. Yeah. Hopefully, it's the last because well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Well, thank you for listening. <laughs> that's it. Goodbye. All right. Uh, so the main thing I wanted to talk about, uh, just, just for a topic on this one, I was talking to one of my friends at work and he was saying like, he was just basically asking me like, so, you know, have you been saving up for anything big? And I was just like, oh no, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna save up money and just get like small things, like some movies, whatever. And he's like, oh Yeah. The new uh, Zack Snyder movies out on Blu-ray. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah. So uh, he asked me, like, is it any good? I'm like, oh, yeah, much better. Much better than the 2017 version. Mm -hmm. Um, And I said, when I was talking to him, I was just explaining, like, my different reasonings as to why uh, the jokes are better. They're not, like, in your face. Mm -hmm. The color saturation doesn't look like shit. And um, I told him that, like, I think one of my favorite comic book scenes, because of, like, how wacky and zany, is the scene where Flash reverses time yeah that part was like fucking amazing but they really got into it that's First what i'm saying one they like, got into it but the second one they, no, they like, didn't at all they didn't did they, they didn't at all yeah, the right. flash in the 2017 version of justice league well no that's he w- because he he popped up in front of batman what do you mean uh when he was he's like i went back too far oh that was batman v superman oh that's right that's right yeah i keep on forgetting yeah. so yeah they didn't they didn't show that in justice league no in justice, justice league in justice league all he did was push a truck full of the russian family yeah, that's away right. and that was it yeah and he's like oh I, I i hope this is east i hope this is west and i'm like <laughs> all right funny. man that's not, not good funny. but in the Zack snyder's cut he reversed time yeah. it was just it was an amazing scene and that got me thinking uh because i think that has to be one of my like probably favorite comic book scenes ever so i wanted to think about it and talk about it with you uh, we're going to go through different movies, DC and Marvel throughout the years and say, you know, what was the best scenes of each of each of those movies. All right. OK. It's going to be a bit of a long one. Just a bit. So okay. I think we should start off with the OG OG because I know you're not a big fan, but Christopher Reeve Superman, because I know that for a fact you like him because even you're getting mad about like Henry Cavill. You're like, he doesn't have the curl. He doesn't he doesn't go in a tele, uh, telephone booth. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Modern day. Uh-huh. So. That movie's iconic, of course. You're talking about uh, original, yeah, like seventies. Yeah. Um, that's iconic because we're talking about comic books or comic movies. Or comic both. movies. So Christopher Reeve Superman, the first one. I think the best scene of that movie is just the whole like when Lois is in the helicopter, it's about to crash, and he's just there like looking for a place, and he looks at the telephone booth, and he just kind of looks at it, and he's like, oh, that's weird, and then he goes into the like, what's the thing at hotels where it's just like the spinny doors? Yeah. The- I don't know what you call them, but they're spinny doors. <laughs> yeah, the spinny doors. <laughs> and he just goes door. in the door, flies up, yeah. saves Lois, and he's just like, I got you. She's like, you got me? Who's got you? Like, classic. That's such a classic thing from Superman. Um, do you have any favorite moments from that from nope. that scene? No? No. Nope. Not at all? Not Nothing. when he reverses time by, like, spinning the earth around nope. backwards, nope. which really, that, that would just destroy the earth, really. <laughs> nope, I don't have anything. <sighs> Not from Superman. You nope. smug little. <laughs> Thank you. You smug motherfucker. You. You. All right, fine. We'll go more into your territory. Uh, okay. Batman eighty nine. The Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Uh, <laughs> nah. Ah yes. All right. Uh, man, honestly, from that movie, mm-hmm. I think it's when they're on the rooftop. Which like part? Batman. Batman doesn't exist. The beginning. Oh, the opening like, scene of Batman. Yeah. yeah. Batman doesn't exist. He's like, he's shut your mouth. Yeah, Batman's not up. really just a. And he just jumps, and he's like. Well, what he doesn't that? jump. Remember, he like he's just there behind him and yeah. just he puts us his dumbass like <laughs> wings like, like I'm Batman, bitch. <laughs> he's like <laughs> looking like Who Dracula. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? I I love that scene because like it's iconic. Because uh, I've told you about this before. The original script was supposed to be like when the criminal when the goon says "Who are you?" Michael Keaton was supposed to respond saying "I'm vengeance," but on a I'm uh, Batman. yeah, he just came up with, <laughs> with "I'm Batman." Which then created, I'm Batman. yeah. Throughout now when you hear I'm Batman, yeah, everyone is like, "Holy yeah, shit!" Yeah, yeah. Um, I love yeah. and hate that scene for two reasons because a that scene was pretty cool. It was it was cool. a nice opening, but I hate it because 
he didn't really do anything like he knocked them out, but that was it. He never got the wallet. He never got the jewelry. He never gave it back to the family. He was just like he didn't. He's like, hey, he's rich. He doesn't. Hey, tell your mates about me. All right, see you later. Yeah, you're gonna die. Bye. (laughs) Tell your friends that scene and uh, Jack Nicholson. Come on, man. Well, what scene? The one where he falls into the into the the acid. Yeah, the acid. And he goes back and he's got the smile and everything, the big ass smile. Well, remember what it was is because like he went to a back alley doctor and the doctor like fucked him up mm-hmm. for more. Yeah. That man, that guy's an asshole. Oh yeah. But no, that I think yeah. Yeah. And all the classic cars, the goons, uh Joker's goons. I love that movie. His his friend that was like the blonde guy in that movie with the glasses, who's just like his right hand man in that movie. Yeah. That's actually like Jack Nicholson's like real life friend. No shit. Yeah, so he was just like, hire him. Yeah. He'll be my goon in this one. He's gonna be my goon. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna hop over to Batman Returns. Any favorite moments from that one? That was the one with Ice, Doctor Iceman, or whatever. Doctor Iceman. No, that was that was Catwoman. And, First of uh, all, it's Mister Freeze. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> uh, I'm Doctor Iceman. No, that's the third one. That's right. Fourth Second one. one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Ooh, third one was Riddler and uh, Two Poison Face. Ivy. Poison Ivy was in it also. Right? Poison Ivy was in the fourth one. Oh, yeah. Dr. Poison. Eyes, <laughs> poison Ivy. Dr. Eyes, Poison Plant Lady. Uh, who do you got? Half Face Man. Uh, who, uh, who, who the hell? Short, short guy. Short guy, waddles. big nose. <laughs> big nose, waddle guy. Danny, Danny DeVito with an illness. <laughs> and lady that thinks she's a furry. The furry lady. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, Bane was in there too. So Green Hulk. One? Uh he was in Batman and Robin with Poison uh, Ivy, remember? And Iceman. He, he, was, he was the dumb Sponge goon. He was, like, Iceman. he was like Bomb. Bomb. I don't, I don't think I remember that. I uh the second one I haven't seen in years. Batman I think Returns? Was, yeah. I think it was kind of gross. There was one scene with Danny DeVito. I think he was eating the fish and he had all the blue stuff coming out of his mouth. Yeah, you remember that? I I never understood. Was that tar? Or was that? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, that scene kind of grossed me out when I was younger. That's really the only thing that really stands out from the second one for me. From I think the, th- <laughs> I think the part that stands out for me in the second one was um. <sighs> I gotta think about this one. <laughs> Carrots. What happened? Carrots. I think the opening scene where like Batman's just straight up killing everybody. <laughs> Oh, I remember, that. remember there there was those like circus freaks just showing up randomly during Christmas causing a ruckus and Batman shows up in the Batmobile. Yeah. Um one of them kidnaps Selena Kyle and he he throws the battering and then pulls it and it hits the guy in the head. I'm like, well he has a concussion, he's dead. <laughs> um he, there's a there's the big fat guy that he like sticks to stick of dynamite in his pants and then kicks him down the oh yeah down the sewer hole yeah he's dead yeah he blew oh, up dead. he straight yeah. up blew up he's dead and then there was just that one guy dressed up as the devil that batman like just ignited his engine and lit on fire i'm like batman hey you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> i guess because fuck man um i really don't want to talk about the other batman movies i don't i, I never watched them the batman there was batman and robin yeah i didn't watch that one yeah, that movie's awful. Anyway. What killed the dinosaurs? Uh. The only thing I know about it is I played the Lego Batman. Oh, yeah. And who didn't? But I remember fighting Clayface and Dr. Iceman. Dr. And, uh, Iceman. Uh, uh, Poison Ivy. And Plant Lady. Catwoman. Half Face Man. And the Cat Lady furry thing. Uh, There's Clayface's Poopy Man. Yeah, Poop Face. Poop Face. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the first, that was the first level. Yeah, he was. Yeah. The... I think I want to see Clayface in the Batman movie. Uh, That'd be interesting to I see don't. a man gross. like who can change his looks and take on different identities, but then in the end turn into a giant poopy turd. sand monster. Just a fucking turd. Yeah, it yeah. was scary. Uh, at the time, so what are we in the nineties right now? So at the time, uh, I don't the, want to talk about nineties. We got a uh, we got I don't Blade. Want to talk about Clooney. I love Blade. Blade. <laughs> you say Blade? Yeah. Yeah, I love Blade. Like I said, we're jumping both Marvel and DC, so okay. Yeah, yeah. Blade's great. Yeah, you don't like it. I'm, I'm not. A, I I, don't, I tried watching it with you guys that one time. I like and it. And even then, I was just like, I don't. I like. It. I don't get it. Funny thing it's about very, that. It's very nineties cheesy. But the funny, th- funny, funny thing. The, the funny, funny thing, thing about that movie oh. is the fact Ooh. that um. Ooh. No, it's not racy. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think the funny thing about that movie the funny is that thing. Fuck off. the funny thing about that movie is the fact that um Wesley Snipes basically created that look for Blade, like the trench coat, the yeah. weird ass haircut, mohawk thing, 
and his sunglasses. Because prior to that, Blade was like a British lad in the UK who fought vampires while he was in like some disco looking like green and yellow suit and all that. Blade's like, I'm not wearing that shit. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes, yeah, yeah no. no. He, his ego was too big. He's like, I'm not doing that I'm shit. Not, I'm not going to act unless I get to make my own fucking, my clothes. No. Make my own suit. We're not know. doing that at all. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get that shit out of my face. Uh, you want me to put that shit Get the corner out of my face. <laughs> get the corner out of my face. Uh, this is 90s, technically. Uh, X-Men, the first one. You didn't like the first one? It's not bad. I love the first one. I think it's it was overplayed. Oh, okay. Because I watched it on cable. Oh, hell. And my mom liked that movie. Yeah. I watched it so much, I'm like, eh. Uh, what, what's, like, the best scene in that movie to you? That's not when they introduced the the blue guy, right? Is it? No, that was the second movie. Uh, see, that's the one I liked. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I'm going to get to that one in yeah, a minute. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I think with um the first I movie. I have to watch it again. With the first movie, I think the best part was, like, just uh when Rogue was in the Canadian bar, and she looks in the cage, and it's just, like, Wolverine fighting the guy. See, I don't remember that. It's been, how long has it been since you've seen X-Men? Probably about eight years. Really? Years, yeah. God damn. All right. Well, then, just for that, X-Men 2. X-Men United. Best scene in that movie was the opening part with Nightcrawler crawling yeah. and attacking the president and all that. That scene was... It was badass. It's fucking awesome. Or when he's jumping from, like, the plane to save people down to... Like he's what do you call it? Like not shape shifting, but uh, teleporting. teleporting. Yeah, teleporting. Because there's that one scene where he goes to the plane, he teleports back. He goes to. Uh, I think that was the recent movies. Was it? I think so. Because I don't think there's a scene like that in the. Hmm. No, nah, I don't. I don't know. No, think no, we, I think so. Yes, you're right. You're right because there's the the U.S. They sent out like rockets or whatever, and it hit the X jet. Yeah. And Rogue fell out. Yeah, that's right. Rogue fell out, and he went out there, grabbed her, and yeah. then brought her back in. Nightcrawler's like my, my favorite X-Men character, I think. He's a badass. Yeah. He's a badass. Which, speaking of which, I don't think I finished that last topic. Wolverine. They're coming out with a Wolverine game. Yeah. You, Ins- didn't, you didn't bring that up. Insomniac, the same company that did the PS4 Spider-Man games. I'm excited. All they showed was just like a, a cinematic. Yeah, not an actual in-game footage. Yeah, but I don't care. If it's a made by the same company as Spider-Man and all that, I'm, I'm hooked. It looks pretty cool. I hope it's a rated M game. It better be. It probably won't be. It'll probably be ready to. She. Um. <laughs> okay. So we're in two thousands now, buddy. Two thousands was the beginning of better movies. So, yes. I mean, Iron Man. Of course. What's the best scene in that movie to you? Iron Man. Yeah. When he's making all the making a suit, and he falls on top of his classic cars, and he's flying around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, like th- I don't know how to use this. Thing. He's like three, two, two one. one. <laughs> he he he's dead first off. Oh, he's smacking his head against that concrete wall, <laughs> and then the yeah. little joy just like no, fucking no, no, he's puts dead. a fire extinguisher on him. <laughs> well, that okay. The first Iron Man, that scene, and when he's making the first Iron Suit, when he's prisoner, yeah, that when he emerges badass. from the cave oh, and all that, psh- the Mark One armor. That shit was badass. I think my favorite scene from that movie is. It's it's still like in the middle kind of. Yeah. It's the part when he puts on the suit for the first time, not the Mark One armor in the cave, but yeah. the the silver one. Yeah, that part when Before he flies he for the first time. Yeah, yeah. He started to over freeze, or it got really cold up. There, yeah, yeah, that and part he fell down. Yeah, that shit was badass. That part was like my favorite. That was pretty um, badass. Hulk got the Incredible Hulk. Did you like that movie? I liked it. I think that movie is like heavily underrated. So cheesy. I think the O three version's cheesy. <laughs> Which Hulk are you talking about? I'm talking about the one with Edward Norton. That's part of the MCU. Let when he see. fights Abomination. The newer one? It's the only one, yeah. The O3 one? No, no, okay. I'm not talking about that one. I was like, this one fucking sucks. That one sucks ass, yes. There's a fucking... Okay, oh, I do have a favorite scene from that movie, though. Where Which he's one? fighting the, the Hulk poodles. I thought you were talking... Uh... And he, like, lifts one up and punches you it in the ball. you talking about this one? Yes, I Edward I have seen this one. What? I've you seen s- bits and pieces where Abomination and him fight, but... You really haven't seen that movie full? Wow, that's that's saying a lot because that movie came out like yeah, no way years ago. Yeah, same same time as Iron Man. I guess I was just more into Iron Man than Hulk because the O three one they had this weird ass scene. His his heart her his blood pressure built up because he was trying to fuck her and he started turning all green and shit. That was that was Edward Norton. That was the Edward. Yeah, he wasn't turning green, but like he was getting on with uh, yeah. Liv Tyler. 
of Tyler. He, that was in, the 08 one? Yeah, that was the 08 one. Because he was trying to get it on. Things were nice. And then she's really getting into it. And he's like, stop, stop, stop. She's like, what? He's like, I can't get too excited. She's like, not even a little. And I'm like, dude, she wants to suck your wiener dog. Like, come on. I don't know. I guess I just didn't like that movie. That's one where, like, the whole fucking United States just starts shooting at him. And he runs across the field. At the university? Yeah. Well, because, you see, that's, it's, it's hard, just, it's it's hard so... talking about those movies because, like, they're both basically the same premise. Cause yeah, it is. It's but... the military chasing after yeah, Hulk and all yeah. that. So they Hulk suck. movies aren't aren't the best. They suck. But I, su- I still think Incredible Hulk is underrated. Um, it's overrated to you. Or to me, it's overrated. Yeah. To you, it's heavily underrated. And I'm like, man, this movie just, just sucks. I think my favorite scene from that movie is when he falls out of the plane. Because, like, it, in that movie, he loses... The Hulk abilities like get shut down for a moment. So he, the abomination occurs and starts fighting, whatever. So he, you know, making the epic heroic sacrifice, he kisses the girl one more time and he falls out of the plane just to activate the Hulk. But it doesn't activate immediately. So he's like, oh shit. And as he <laughs> falls down, he falls through the concrete uh, road and all that. And then uh, <laughs> just like when the Hulk emerges and he's getting up, he's like, Oh, like just like not feeling it. I'm like, that's great. That's good. Uh, we wouldn't get an Iron Man though without Batman. The Dark Knight trilogy occurred during those times. Christopher Nolan, all of those movies. What what is that? You don't like the Dark Knight? No, I love the Dark Knight. Oh, okay, well, what was that? You were talking about the Hulk. Oh yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying those movies, like Iron Man, and all that wouldn't have occurred if it wasn't for the Dark Knight trilogy. Oh yeah, that's What's what I'm saying. Me? I was like, yeah, I was I'm like, like, whoa, was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> who the fuck you? are you? What'd you do with my friend? <laughs> You're not real. <laughs> he loves yeah. Heath Ledger. Christian Bale, I think, was one of the best Batman's. Oh, I yeah. think he is the best Batman. Yeah. I think so. I can say that confidently. Yeah, yeah. He is the best Batman. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, those movies are so good. Okay, best scenes from those movies. The first one. The first one, Batman. Begins. Very first. Uh, I think when he's interrogating uh, Scarecrow and he sprays him in the face and he's got all the maggots coming out of his yeah, yeah, that yeah. was badass. But then he flipped it on him the next time he saw him. Which real quick, um, I showed you the Lego set, right? Mm-mm. They were they were releasing like the Tumblr, uh, oh, Lego Tumblr. You did show me. You did. Show and me. then like it was Batman in Batman and Scarecrow, but like you can switch the face for Batman and it turns into the, the black. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, but he switched it on him, and he scared Scarecrow because he saw his face and, like, that black goo was coming out of his mouth, and he's like, ah, green. That part was awesome. That scene, I think that's one of the best scenes in that movie. I think the best scene for me in that movie is his first appearance when he's, like, Falcone's goons are smuggling their drugs or whatever, and he's just taking them all out one by one, and then there's that one guy who's just like, what? Here, <laughs> that part's great. Here, and then he, you know, it's a quick shot. He's yeah. beating up all the guys, and then Falcone's just like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And he does the, "I'm Batman." That part, I was just like, "It's great." That part, it's like my favorite scene in, my, in that movie, I believe. Um, Christian Bale got fucking big in that movie. Shredded. I, I, to, I think I've told you this that's before. one where he fought uh, Ra's al Ghul. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I've told you this before. Christian Bale got the call to be Batman and all that and he worked out his body and everything but he got too big for the suit yeah he got too so big so skin Chris, tight. yeah <laughs> so like Christopher Nolan was just like I need you to I need you to lose a couple pounds actually because yeah, you need to tone it down a little bit you're, you're a little too big you're fucking shredded dude yeah. your sheer girth of your body mass <laughs> alone <laughs> is impeccable <laughs> I can't work with this <laughs> I can't I can't it's quite simple uh, um well, but but uh, but but, but, but Batman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dark Knight. Oh, this whole movie is so good. There's so those. There's that's so many the, scenes. I can't. I can't. I was gonna say there's so many great scenes in that movie that I can't pick one. Um, we'll do a top three. Top three. Okay. Okay. For me, the first scene that I was like, oh, they introduced the Joker, him walking into the movie. Yeah. Ha. Ha, ha, ho, he, ha, oh, ho, he, <laughs> He's like, let's ha. not go crazy. I thought my jokes were bad. <laughs> He's like, watch this. You want to see a magic trick? He's like, I'm going to make a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> Disappear. Yeah, that Ta-da! part, the pencil scene was awesome. And he's just like, he's like, uh, 
little um mm, yamble was it uh won't <laughs> have a penny for his grandma <laughs> talking shit the funniest oh. thing is that like heath ledger was in that movie when you like put it all together all of his scenes were like in a total of like four minutes five minutes but it made it, so it long, every like, scene was just like it seemed fucking, so much longer it was perfect it was great it was perfect ha ha who <laughs> 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 ha ha who who ha all right what's your other two scenes uh well, that was the first scene, the pencil scene. The second scene, I'd have to say the whole car chase in the tumbler. When it turns into the bat pod? Yeah. The bat pod scene was pretty funny. like, come cool. on, come on, I want you to hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> oh, that, that got intense. The first time I saw it, I was like. Especially when they did like the, the practical like mm-hmm. truck itself just flipping, flipping over. Flipping over with the wire. And then the last scene for me, kind of a goofy scene, but it stands out for me. Joker going as, as the, the nurse. Yeah, I love that too. It's, it's, it's a great scene. It's a good scene. It's a great scene. How if I, if I, it's like a dog chasing a man. <laughs> if it catches him, he just wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, shit. What are, okay. God, this is hard. It's hard I to say top it three. it is. Okay. I thought about it long and hard and I was like, ah, oh, yeah. You know. Well, you actually stole my first one. The, the opening. The opening introduction for scene for Joker. Oh. Yeah, because I wanted to say the why so serious scene, but. I think the opening, like you understood his character immediately. Oh, yeah. You and, knew exactly who he was. And his jokes fucking hit. Like, they were good ones. He's like, he, he, ho, ha, he. <laughs> Campbell won't get a, a, a penny for his grandma. <laughs> Talking <laughs> shit. He's like, uh, the big uh, TV man over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the TV. <laughs> uh, it was good. It's great. Uh, it was what's, good. What's, what's. Oh, you know what? Which one? I got two more scenes. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> what the hell? We said top no. three. Okay. Well, well let me ahead. let me finish yeah, my first. Yours because I might take one. The interrogation part. Oh. Where yes. you know he's talking to Gordon. He's like the good cop, bad gamer routine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm Gordon's go like, the monster. <laughs> Gordon's like, not exactly. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, never start with the head. The victim gets all funny. He can't yes. feel the next. Yes. See. <laughs> See. <laughs> that part. Great. That entire part is great because like. Batman was scary during that part. Oh yeah, he was picking he's him up, throwing him around, and shit. fucking punching him. He's like, "Where are they?" <laughs> oh my god, that scene so was great. Good. And then number one, oh, I don't know, I don't know what my last scene would be. Uh, I told you I got two more scenes. Shit, what was it? What was your other scenes? You said the oh, you said the tumbler part. Tumbler, uh, the whole cop car chase, the tumbler, the Joker shooting the RPG at the truck. I think. You know, I think my one of my favorites. Ugh. Okay, not when he's the nurse per se, but when he blows up the hospital. He's like, hmm? yeah, he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he's like, he gets oh. in the bus and everything. <laughs> oh, it's great. That scene was great. Yeah, scene is really great. Um, okay, what what are the other two scenes for you? Because you, the very beginning, the bank rob. Bankrupt. Oh Bank yeah, I wasn't even. Con- yeah, I, I didn't, wasn't it completely even blew, that. It blew my mind. Like it blew past me. I was like, it blew oh, me. It blew oh, me. Oh, I forgot one. That fuck, that fuck, seems fuck. great. I love that scene because it's it's like. Did you ever play that game Payday? I don't think so. Oh, dude, I, I wasn't good at it, but <laughs> it completely reminded me of it. And Payday came out way after that movie, but. I just love the whole concept of bank robbery. You remember the movie? The oh, heist, heist movies are like oh, probably good. They're like one of my favorite movies. Yeah. I think one of my favorite movies is Baby Driver because that's it's a, a comedy movie. and a heist movie. It's a great movie. That movie, uh, The Town. Ben Affleck. Oh my God. Killed it. You know what else I've seen? <laughs> the Town. That's a good movie. <laughs> I, I, I really like that. Fargo, actually. <laughs> Fargo was a great movie. Have you seen the new Batman? Yeah. Yeah. That guy, that actor, shredded. Have you seen Daredevil? <laughs> Daredevil's amazing. <laughs> You're pushing it, kid. And Master Wayne, it's quite shit. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Little baby nuts, bat- <laughs> baby nuts, baby nuts. <laughs> okay, so that scene, the, the the high scene, and the last scene, I guess top five for me, was when Joker tied up the little fat guy <laughs> and with the, the cell phone. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that part used to freak me out because it, oh, yeah, like, most definitely. what freaked me out wasn't the situation itself, but like, cause it was, he filmed on one of those like shitty iPhone or Oh iPhone. no. Are you talking about the fat guy in the prison? No, not the cell phone where it rings inside of him. Yeah. Not that where part. Where it breaks out. I'm talking about on the, the news. One. Yeah. On the news. Okay. He's yeah. Like, okay. Show your face, Batman. Yeah. That part, it was like, it freaks me out because like, there's no music. And Joker's using like one of like the old cameras yeah. and everything. So the camera's like picking up every audio, every squeaky mm-hmm. movement. And there's something about that eerie, like 
just silence and the squeakiness that like makes it like super real. The first time I saw it, when he screamed at him, he's like, "Who are you?" Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. What did he, he say? He's like, like, look at me. Look, look at, at me. me. I know. I was like, and it's just silent for a moment. Oh he's just my like, God. you see, this is what Batman does. It makes yes. people crazy. I'm like, yes. oh God. Well, I saw that movie in IMAX. I didn't. I saw it. So when it when that DVD. part happened, I remember I was just like, oh, shit. oh fuck. That it's the same scene, I guess. Because the news jumps to it, but whenever he hung him and Gordon was looking out the window and just doom. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, this is brutal. Yeah. That was, Mouth like slit yeah. open and everything. Oh my God. So good. God damn that movie. So good. I can't wait till we do uh, movie commentaries on that one. Oh, that, so great. That's going to be, that's one awesome. that we should start off the next year with January. Oh, yeah. We'll do a binge with that. Um, yeah. <sighs> I'll just move, that whole movie. That movie's great. It's such I think that I think one of my favorite bits too was the end scene when he's just like telling Gordon like the whole like you either you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That entire ending is like one of my favorite endings to any superhero movie. I think. All right, let's hop over to the Dark Knight real quick. Dark Knight Rises. I mean, eh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I love all the movies, but I think like Dark Knight Rises is probably the weak, weakest. I think that link. one fluked. That one's the weakest link. Yeah, for sure. Um, great moments, but just like, eh, I don't no, know. I liked it. I liked Bane. I just yeah. hated Tom Hardy's voice. Yeah. Bane was intimidating, oh. but like, here's just like, and I hated it too because like, it's clearly Tom Hardy dubbed. Yeah. So he's like, when everyone else is talking, he's like, Bane, you know, what, uh, what are you here? What are you here for? And he's just like, he's super close to the mic and you feel the bass like, I'm Gotham's reckoning. And everyone's just like, Jesus, uh, Catwoman. I think yeah. Anne Hathaway was she was a cutie as Catwoman. She's cutie. Yeah, um, uh, definitely. The dumb, the really dumb scene was when uh, Batman was talking to her, and she's just like, he turns around for a second, and then she disappears and like, so that's what that feels like. <laughs> that part was <laughs> it's dumb, but it's funny. That was actually a pretty good one. Because uh, uh, Gordon was like, yeah, he does that a lot. When the police were chasing him, I like uh, that part. That was like a badass scene. She was on her uh, little bike. No, no, no. Uh, in the beginning, this was right after Bane robbed the uh, the stock market, mm. and he and he kidnapped that guy. And in Batman's Return, that part I loved because that part was like full on like ripped from the Dark Knight Returns, of course. Because that movie was also a story where Batman, where Bruce stopped being Batman after so many years, and he took up the mantle because just crime was terrible again. <laughs> so, just that part was great. Yeah. Um, I think it was pretty interesting. I don't think it worked out too well because Tom Hardy was kind of small. Like he's he's he beefy. Big, but he's beefy, but like short compared to Batman. Um, they did recreate the iconic like nightfall, like lifts him up and breaks his back. That and uh they did the sewer the sewer fight. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that fight. It's it's okay, I'm not gonna lie though. I think Ben Affleck spoiled me because watching that warehouse fight where he's like smashing everybody's heads in, that doing all these moves, scene. and then you watch the Dark Knight where he's just like <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like, ah, now I'm spoiled, dude. I want I want Ben Affleck like fucking slamming dudes and fucking <laughs> smashing dudes and <laughs> what? what? Hold on, huh? You said what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute. I oh fuck, it's just some gas. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh my god. But yeah, Dark Knight Dark Knight Rises, it was I don't know. It was alright. It was it was the weakest yeah. link of the movie. Yeah. I'll watch it for sure, but we'll we'll have to watch it, but Okay, real quick. I think the dumbest thing about that movie was like Joseph Gordon Levitt's character, and then she's just like, "You should use your real maiden name, Robin." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> sure, all right, whatever you say, lady." <laughs> she, get the fuck out of my face, <laughs> bitch! What the fuck? That was just like, Girl, what the fuck? I wouldn't mind if like he was his own character and became Robin. Like that, that's one thing. That but like, funny. he's full on like his name is straight up like. Robin, she did like I I that scene would have been so much better if she did like the like look at the camera and the, the wig thing, you know what I mean? She winked at you. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> fuck it. You, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up, Christopher Nolan. <laughs> you fucked up. You really fluked this one. You really fucked the pooch. Hey Christian, you should use your real name, Robin. She's like <laughs> another scene. You know, you should use your real name, Night Wingus. <laughs> 
Wingers. <laughs> Nightius Wingers. <laughs> Nightitius the Wakangas. <laughs> Can you um, just call me Nightwing? <laughs> just call me that, please. Is my nickname. Nightatatus Wingatus. <laughs> red hoodie? Red hoodie? Uh, uh, <laughs> she sees the guy. Oh, you're wearing a red hoodie over there. Um, uh, wow. That's oh, real quick. Going back real quick on the Dark Knight. I completely skipped the scene when Harvey lost his face. He's like, ah, ah, you should have went for her. You should have went for her. Oh, my God. That was intense. I... I I hated Rachel. <laughs> Rachel was the one character that they introduced in those movies. I'm like, she's I like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, <laughs> it's kind of funny, <laughs> just the way how it cuts off. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he falls over too, stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Oh yeah, he does. That's he does. how he gets his face yeah, that's in the. Yeah, that's how he gets it because all the gas. Yeah. Is fucking, oh. Gasoline. <laughs> all right, so, uh, I think. I think okay, that's it on that's, Christian Bell. That's that's Christian Bell. Yeah. Uh, it, we're still in the two thousands. Uh, what else did we get? We got X Men. We got X Men Two, like we said, mm-hmm. Nightcrawler. Yep. There's X Men Three, with Jean Grey and all that. I don't think I have a favorite scene from the movie at all. I think, I think we could skip that one. I think that movie was pretty bad. You know what? That one. You know what? No, I'm wrong. <laughs> I was just like, I I was like do I have something? I got nothing. God, that movie was pretty bad. <laughs> it, was. it was pretty bad. <laughs> was pretty I think bad. the dumbest part in that movie was when he lifts the Golden Grape Bridge. Like That Golden, part was cool. Golden Grape Bridge? Golden Grape Bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. That part was cool. But then I the scene got ruined when he's like, you know, Charles always wanted to make bridges with people. And I'm like... You 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 didn't have to say anything, dude. You had it. You had it. You could have just lifted it and shut up. When Mystique lost her powers, though, that was pretty fucked up. And she came out all not blue and scaly, and she was Rebecca Romaine, all naked. I'm like, ah, I kind of like this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, oh damn. That's hot. Th- <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Okay. In in the um 2000s, the last movie X Men related was. Uh, was X Men Origins Wolverine? I liked it. I liked it. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah, I liked it. You could lie, or you, I not hate lie, but that movie. I liked it. I passion. liked it. I I will admit, there's only I think there's two scenes I like. Did you like the doctor scene where I went back and showed him how he got it? What? Where it was like a green room. That's the second movie. That's the second Wolverine. Yeah, the the. F- X Men Origins was just like when they the one, showed when the they whole go procedure. To Japan, right? No, that's the Wolverine. So many fucking movies. Damn, uh, how many Wolverines are there? There's three. There's three. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me. Let me. No, no. Let me. I. No. I, no, I know what I'm no, meeting. I. I. I got to see. I got to see. There's X Men Origins I, I Wolverine see. that came out in 2009. 2013 had the Wolverine, and then Logan was the last one. Um, X Men. Oh, that was the one with the the blue guy. What's his name? Badger. Badger. Origins. The blue. Honey badger or whatever. Honey badger. What are you what? talking about? His brother, Sabretooth. Sabretooth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the blue guy badger. Yeah. Blue guy badger. Uh, teeth. Uh, blue. Oh, you're thinking about beast first. I'm off. thinking about beast. You're, miss- you're yeah, mixing. You're mixing up like you know. You know. I thought you were mixing up beast with badger from Breaking Bad, and I'm like <laughs> badger. So, so, <laughs> so come on, man. Let's cook the stuff. <laughs> I got a fucking beanie on. We no, that that's oh he does have a beanie too. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Skinny Pete. Skinny Pete, fuck. He had the he had the, the weird man. beanie though. He had the weird beanie, it, the one that with the tassels. Yeah, Badger did. Fucking Skinny Pete just had the beanie. Badger's such a fucking idiot. I hate both of them. They're both idiots. But Skinny Pete's cool. No, they're both idiots. Oh yeah, most definitely. But but they're loyal. I love them. They are. They help. They're good in friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, going Side back. Uh, Side fucking track. We'll talk about Breaking Bad another day. Uh, Sabretooth. That was Origins. That's the first yes, one. Yes, yes. The second one is when they go to Japan. Yes, and then Logan was yes. 2017. Logan, what I just said. Oh, anyway, I had to. I had to figure it out for myself. Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck. Shut, shut, shut your mouth. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. Kind of coming off stupid. Right I'm now. coming off stupid. <laughs> okay, so. With um, X Men Origins, I think there's two scenes I like. The operation scene where he does get the yep, adamantium yep, claws, yep. and he comes out fucking butt naked and just like slashing cheeks up everybody. out and everything. I'm like, yeah. And then my other favorite scene that I I truly liked, and the sad thing is like it was only for like two minutes, 
was in the opening, not when he killed his father, but when they start going through the war, the wars, yeah. all those wars. I love that, and I I want to see that as a movie. You could have given me that, but no, you gave me Wolverine living off on a cliff with some moon lady talking about the wicky dackety do <laughs> and he's just like cuckoo cuckoo choo and i'm like the wolverine that's what that means i'm like what what <laughs> did you like the second one though the wolverine yeah i've only seen it once i i, I liked it it was it was different i don't remember it's, that's I, the one where they go to japan no i remember the movie yes and he takes care of the girl because yes. like her grandpa was assassinated or some yeah. shit like that i didn't like that movie I do okay. There is a scene I like from that movie. I I did just remember the opening when he's like, "Well, this is where he's losing his powers or whatever." It wasn't. It was because he was there was like a weird. There's the villain Viper yeah. who used like this weird toxin shit. I think it was a it was a mixture of toxins and like some micro organism that was like in his chest that was like preventing it was his, airborne. It was it preventing was airborne, his yeah. mutant abilities to lay yeah. dormant. I liked that one. Um, I like the scene. In the beginning, when he's like living off in the forest after he leaves the X Men, and there's the two poachers who are just like, "Yeah, I killed this bear. I did that." <laughs> but Logan sees the bear earlier, and it's like sad and like slowly dying. It wasn't even like meant to kill; it was just like a poison tip. So Logan had to put it out of his misery. But he beats the shit out of the other guys. I'm like, mm -hmm. that was a good scene. I like that. And then Logan. Logan. We'll talk about Logan later. Um, <sighs> no, because I was still talking about the 2000s and oh. all that. So well, that is still two thousand. No, it's not. Twenty seventeen. I mean, two thousands from like two thousand one, two thousand ten. That's the two thousands. That was like the tens, I guess. I don't. I don't know what I you. I guess call just it. call it the tens. The twenty tens. Yeah. Um, how do you define that? Because like you don't. There's a the, term for it. It's a. Because like even then, did you call it the nineteen tens? Half of a decade. No, because a decade is ten years. Then the twenty decades. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> you're an idiot. I know. I okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's called the tens. The tens, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, the two thousand about it. The two thousands. Uh, we because we're in the second century. Not <laughs> second. We're in the second Whoa. decade. Uh, two hundred and ten. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. We're in the second decade. We've been alive for two decades. Yeah, we have. Holy shit. That's weird to think about. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, back to the 2000s. So yeah, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Did you have any other favorite scenes in that movie? No? Yeah. You know what scene I truly hated? Deadpool. He sewed his Ooh. mouth fucking shut. Ooh, Ooh, I don't like that movie again. <laughs> Ooh, you, see, you, I forgot. You said you liked it. I like that movie, Deadpool. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Coral. Did you, did you do it? Oh, did God. You, did you sew his mouth shut? Yeah. Oh, oh. So bad. I like how Deadpool killed him in Deadpool. Let's uh let's 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 speed run this because it's taking a little long. So Captain America first Avenger. You skip Logan. We're not talking about Logan yet. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Captain America? Yeah. Eh. First Avenger. Eh. My favorite scene was in the end when he wakes up and he's in New York and then, when I wake up and <laughs> Sam Sam Jackson's just like, are you okay? And he's just like, yeah, I'm fine. I had a date and it just cuts to black. That's like my favorite. That's one of my favorite endings. It's like. That's one where they made him big. Where they first made him. Yeah. 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 Eh. He's it's Skinny right. Rogers and yeah. Big Boy. Uh, um, it's all right movie. Which, real quick, the What If series, the first episode was, and it's not spoilers, whatever, the first episode is, like, what if Peggy took the super soldier serum, and she becomes, like, a big... <laughs> she, she She's, like, she's a little thicker, you know? Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, like, she's just with, like, Steve, because Steve's still alive, but he's, like, still skinny and all that, so it's just, like, perfect example of, like, short king versus tall woman, I'm like, nice. nice. Mommy milkers, come here. Yeah. Sit on my face. <laughs> all right. Uh, Iron up. Man 2. It's an alright movie. Yeah. It's an alright. I don't really remember it, but I remember it. That's the one where Gwyneth Paltrow, she she got her own suit in that one, right? Oh, I'm thinking of the third one. That was Endgame. No, that was the third one. She had her own suit in the third one. No, she didn't. Yeah, she, when put, she, were... she put on a suit for a second. Yeah. When she went to go... Help Tony when all the bots were turning against him, or no? They shipped out all the the his uh 
His Iron Man suit? No, 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 no. So she got like pieces of it. Yeah. To kill the man. And that was it. But she didn't get her own suit. She, I thought she did. It was the blue one. That was Endgame. It was. Yeah. Because remember Morgan was messing around with the helmet at yeah, first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, Shit. But yeah. Iron Man, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <gasps> Shh. Don't say that. <laughs> Um, Shit! <laughs> I love Tony Stark. Uh, I love his daughter. His daughter was like so fucking adorable in that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Iron Man two. <sighs> I don't really have anything to say about it. I think that was the one with the what's his name Don Shadell. Where Don, Don Shadell. Whoa, Chiddell. that's the fancier version of him. <laughs> Don Shadell. They call me Don Shadell. <laughs> no, Don Cheadle. <laughs> He he uh he gets War Machine right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. he it gets it not fucking what's his name in the other one it's all right I love that in the first movie he's just like next time baby I'm like nope nope no nope. you won't <laughs> Terrence How- that Terrence Howard he was just like yeah. Terrence Howard Terrence Howard was the first roadie and then they recasted him in Iron Man two Terrence Howard was? yeah no way yeah he he was roadie in the first movie. But oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the the general, or whatever. Well, the soldier, yeah, yeah the soldier. he was Rhodey. Yeah, but the thing was, is like, Terrence Howard thought he deserved more money than like Tony. Well, you got to see the movies Terrence Howard has been in, though. That doesn't matter. He's it not doesn't. the he's not the leading star. But he's not the, the 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 star. But that's what it was. He got he got bitchy and pissy over that. He's like, fine, I don't have to work for you guys again. But he lost on that fucking deal because War Machine is in like every Iron Man movie, every Avengers. So well, now he is since his the second one. That's what I'm saying. Parents, yeah. So Terrence Howard, he missed out. Yeah, he fucked up. He, he fucked, fucked up big time. He could have been an Endgame. Yeah. But I mean, but but gives a shit. going to Terrence Howard real quick. I think the best movie he's been in, Hustle and Flow. I don't. I don't think I've seen him in like a lot of movies. I gotta show you Hustle and Flow. He's a pimp. Oh hell. Oh, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. Oh my god, it's such a good movie. Anyways, go ahead. But um, yeah, yeah. So that was it. But that that's the funny thing because in Iron Man two, when we see Don Cheadle, uh, Tony in the beginning, Tony's like, I didn't expect to see you, and he's like, I'm here. Deal with it. And that was like a little like wink, wink at the audience. Like, yeah, I get it. I'm not the same man. But the fucked up thing about that too is that when they replaced him, um, the CEO of Marvel, like at the time, was just like. Yeah, we'll just switch out the actors. People won't know the difference. I'm like, that's a big difference. That's a big, it's a big ass difference. He was an old white man. He was just like, hey, hey, he's a black guy. They won't notice. I'm like, I think people do. Kind of a different skin tone. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> one's one's a little thicker in the face. One's skinnier. One's older looking than the other. It's not that hard to Damn, tell. That was a call out, huh? I'm here. I get it. Yeah, yeah. That's a call. that was a call out. He was just like, "I'm here, deal with it." I love yeah. that, and I like Don Cheadle as Rhodey. Oh, he's he's great. Yeah, he's a great actor too. Fuck yeah! I think he was great in uh, Family Man, the Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great role. Um, all right, so back to the speed run. So Iron Man two, I think I like the race scene. No, where they introduce whiplashes. Yes, it is. Uh, Mickey, Mickey Rourke. Yeah, I think he did a pretty good. I don't think so. I want my bird. Yeah, give I want my bird. My bird. My bird. This is not. I liked I liked Sam Rockwell in that movie. He was he was the other rich asshole like Tony Stark. Oh yeah, I loved yeah. him though. He he yeah. was funny. He was in the Transformers: Age of Extinction, right? No, that wasn't him. Nah, Sam Rockwell. I wish he was. I think he'd make a good character in those movies, but no, Sam Rockwell wasn't in those. <laughs> He's like, you want you want your bird? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want my bird. It's a it's a pretty bird. It's a pretty bird. He's just there like dancing. I love that Sam Rockwell. Like, he really does love dancing. So like every movie he's in. Oh, he was in a fucking uh, Mister Nice Guy. Yes, yeah. Mister Right. Mister Right. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. With um, Pitch Perfect Girl. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. <laughs> I love Sam Rockwell. Um, yeah, but he's yeah, funny. He's he funny. he's fucking funny. Uh, so there's that. And then in two thousands area, what else did we get? Comic book wise, we got Superman Returns. That movie was god awful. Even I, even I admit, like that movie was shit. <laughs> Kevin Spacey was fucking Lex Luthor in that movie. That, uh, was, that was not needed. <laughs> no, no, I think it. I think he was a good Lex Luthor, but like it was whatever. The my favorite scene is just like when he's talking to Lois and she's like, "Well, Superman, run!" 
wrong. I'm like, all right, that's good, I guess. <laughs> that's funny, dude. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a like depressing. Mo- like if you like Man of Steel, we thought like it's kind of like sad and depressing. I feel like Superman Returns is like even worse. I'm like, really? <laughs> I, that's shit. bad. But anyways, uh, Spider Man. Mm. Spider-Man came out. Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. I can't I, talk shit about those. No, never. Those Freaking, are great. We talked about this last podcast. Yeah. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. Dude, okay. Speed round. First movie. Best scenes. Best scene in the first one? Fuck. Uh, fuck. He threw the grenade at uh, Harry. Third movie. That's the third one? That's the third one. Fuck! Yeah, because his face was all fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fuck. First one. He fought Goblin in that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, and Doc Ock. No. Doc Ock was the second one. Second movie. And then I'm third. I'm getting ahead of myself. Third was Sandman and Venom. Sandman, Venom, and then Green Goblin on his tech deck. <laughs> 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 I haven't heard it. They called that. That's good. Uh, first one? Shit, man. Shit, man. I don't. Shit, man. Oh, too close, too close. <laughs> oh, yeah, then Whoa. shut the fuck up. I don't. Man, I can't remember. It's been so long. When he fights Flash. Flash Thompson. Oh, in high school? Yeah. yeah. Doing flips and shit and yeah. fucking punches him. And then that part's funny because when Flash falls back, he gets shit dropped on him. But like coffee spills and I'm like, oh, he's got like third degree <laughs> burns. He's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, when he climbs the walls for the first time. When he was trying to do this. The, yeah, the that web, Shazam. The, yeah, it's Shazam. <laughs> I thought that scene was good. That scene was, was funny. That shit was funny. And then like, when he swings across and he falls on the billboard, <laughs> but he falls on the billboard. That's like a picture of a woman in her like win- uh front window. So it's like a bug splattered on the window. I was like, ah, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's, that's funny. I get it. I get it. Um, Spider dead. The Green Goblin scene when he attacks the Unity Parade or whatever. When he blows all that green smoke. Is that right? No. Where. No? No, when they were like at the parade and Macy Gray was playing and he's like, out am I? And he throws the bomb and like the people just turn into skeletons. <laughs> I remember that. We gotta watch that, man. Dude, we're gonna watch it for December, right before Homecoming. Or New no Way Home. Uh, <laughs> Homecoming. Wow, we're still in high school. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we gotta watch it. It's been a while. We're gonna do it for sure. Uh, Spider-Man 2. That's the one with Doc Ock. Mm. Best scenes. Yes. Oh, shit. I forgot one from the first one. Which one? Uh, Green Goblin. When he was in the machine, he's like... <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes. William Dafoe in any scene in that movie was great. William Dafoe. William. William, William Dafoe. <laughs> William Dafoe. William Dafoe. I don't, I don't know. I've seen him in a couple movies. I saw him in this one movie. Uh, it had Nicolas Cage and William Dafoe. It's called Something Dogs. I don't know. It, it was so bad. It was so bad. It's a hit or miss with Willem Dafoe, I guess. He's a good actor, though. Um, he killed it in uh, John Wick. Yeah, yeah, he was in John Wick. I forgot about that. Yeah, I always forget about he that. He killed it. I um, think it was good at... In the first Spider-Man movie, he... I think my favorite scene with him was when he was talking to himself in the mirror. Yeah. That part was pretty great. That was a good one. Uh, Okay, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. We introduced Doc Ock. Mm-hmm. Man. I already know my favorite scene. I think it's the one where he's climbing on top of the roof and Harry's with him, right? Harry's with him, Spider and Doc Ock. I think so. Yeah. And they're fighting. I think that's the one that stands out to me most. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's been a long time since I've seen those movies. I think my favorite scene in that movie is the train scene. Remind me. The train when, like, Doc oh. Ock. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's yeah. like. That is a good ass scene. Just because, just like. It's because in that universe, there's no Iron Man, there's no, no. Captain America or it's anyone. Just, it was just him. Like just he Spider-Man. needed, he yeah. needed to save everyone. So he's like using his brain. Like he uses the webs for the first time. It doesn't work. He's like fuck. So he's just like multiplying, mm-hmm. like using different strings and all that, and just yeah, it's a badass. Scene. Great scene. Yeah, great scene. And then the best scene in that movie is when you know he looks at Mary Jane. She realizes he's Spider Man. It's beautiful. And then the building starts to fall slowly. Mm-hmm. He's like. Whoo! <laughs> Toby Maguire, man. He's cool. Oh, you know what? I think I, I'm, I think my favorite scene actually is when, 
after he attains the arms, Dr. Octopus, and like he's still he's still knocked down, they're about to cut it off, and then it turns into like a fucking a fucking uh evil dead movie where like all the claws are just like attacking different oh, nurses shit. and doctors, and there's that, that one scene of the girl nice. with like the nails on the floor and she's like ah! and it's like just peeling away mm. at it. That was a good scene. That's like that a fucking a terrifying scene. scene. As a kid, that scared the shit out of oh, me. Yeah. It's a badass scene. And then Spider-Man 3. I think the best scene, of course, is... When he goes to get bread at his apartment in Sandman. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He, was just, he broke in to get bread. He broke in to get some bread. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate the way how he just, like, rips it off. It, like, it oh, looked like it was, it, like, a piece of rock. Like, yeah. Oh, it looked gross. <laughs> that part that's was, not my favorite scene. That's not my favorite scene. <laughs> no, that's my favorite scene. <laughs> I'm breaking it. I, I liked watching that scene because I'm like, what if that wasn't his daughter? It's just like he's just breaking in some random. House. <laughs> he's just getting bread. I'm just getting bread. I'm sorry, I broke in. I just need some bread. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that scene and uh, the emo the, dancing. Yes, you already know. Yeah, already that's know. the best scene ever. <laughs> he's like. When he when he goes into the club, oh god! And he's like trying to find a seat. He's like, "Yo, find us some shades." <laughs> Thanks, hot legs. I'm like, "Whoa, Peter, stop it!" He he was he, he was, was ballsy. He was red. He was red, dude. <laughs> he was killer. Um, Solid. it. Now dig on this. God damn, that movie's fucking <laughs> terrible. <laughs> no, and we got great. we got skinny ass Topher Grace being like. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know all about you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're no venom. You're not venom. You're not that guy, pal. He's like, you're not that guy. Do you guy. remember? Do you remember what you did to me? The fuck out! No one cares. You're trash, Bach. Excuse me. Your pictures are fake. <laughs> yep, it's fake. Photographic Empire State Photographic confirms it. Pack your things. Get out of my bed. We haven't even talked about J.K. Simmons. Oh, the pill scene. The pill scene. Oh, shit. I love that scene. I haven't printed a retraction in 20 years. Uh, the second movie. The pills. The second movie. That was the second one, right? No, no, I'm saying that that's the third one. That's but I'm saying like one, the, the second movie where he's just like, can I get paid in advance? <laughs> <laughs> my social photographer serious? got hit in the head with a golf club. So you're all I got. <laughs> you're serious. You're serious? Pay for what? Stand in there? Get out of my office. <laughs> you fine. want a staff job and you want a staff job. Does you anyone know what I want? I, want? I, I do. do. Shut up. Get, Get out. <laughs> J.K. Simmons, man. Oh my One of the God. best castings ever. He's a great actor. I always see him as, not an actor, but as the Allstate guy. All I was going to say, you and your Allstate guy. <laughs> no, no, that was... No, you just farted. I felt it on the couch. I, I promise I didn't fart. Oh, it wasn't yeah. me. You fart. Fired. I didn't fart. Anyways. Okay. Uh, all right. J.K. Simmons, Spider-Man 3. Great. Spider-Man 3 is the best movie. Fight me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Spider-Man 2 real quick. The raindrop scene where he's like, raindrops falling on my head. Because there's this one part where like, when he's like in his happy, like, I'm not Spider-Man anymore. There's a part where like, um, police drive by him. And he turns around and he like eats a hot dog, but he eats like the whole glizzy in one fucking <laughs> bite. Oh, oh yeah, he was like, <sighs> but like he eats like just I don't know, like somehow he only takes the wiener, but not the bread <laughs> itself. I'm like, what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> Even as a kid, man's like, deep throat to that shit. <laughs> Oh shit. He fall my back. My back. <laughs> oh shit. That's it. <laughs> oh, right. Did any other movies come out during the 2000s? Oh shit. Oh, the best movie ever, Ghost Rider. <laughs> I like Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, like especially Ghost Rider. the second one, the Spirit second of Vengeance. One was horrible. <laughs> where he's just there the transforming like mid drive like ah, oh, he was ah. like, pissing fire. I'm like, that wasn't needed, but he was pit that movie's so fucking stupid. That one was bad. I like the first one though. I like the first one. That movie is god awful. I like the first one. I haven't seen the first one. I need to see the first one. You haven't seen Ghost Rider? Like I haven't seen the first I've only seen bits and pieces. I've seen the part where he's riding with uh Mustache Man. What's Mustache Man's name? Man, my name is Mustache Man. I got yeah, a big old oh, sexy man. mustache. What's his name? What's his name? Tom Clancy? No, that's a video game character <laughs> shit. Fuck, what's his name? Hold on. Eli 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 Roth. Yeah. Eli Roth. And he's yeah. like, because he was like a previous Spirit of Vengeance and he's yeah. riding the he's horse. Got the horse. That part like, was cool. Let's ride. I remember I, I, remember oh. I saw that part. 
Oh, fuck. I got to get that movie now. Yeah. It's a great movie, dude. Fantastic Four came out during that time. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that. You, you didn't I like any... you would skip it. You didn't like... <laughs> yes, I know. Technically, I was. And I was like, what Invincible the fuck is that or whatever? Movie? Invincible Girl? Or what's her Invisible name? Girl. Invisible Girl. She's fine. Or Invisible Woman. Invisible. She's fine. She's fine as one. Jessica Alba. Oh, my God. You and Jessica Alba. Oh, she's so fine. Um, oh, yeah. I like the thing in that movie. Stupid. His suit was pretty cool. It's stupid. What it's about just a pile of rocks? Well, remember <laughs> it's cord. He's cord. Yeah. Um. Uh, remember Silver Surfer. That movie was actually pretty was cool. Pretty good. I like that I scene like when Silver he's Surfer. fighting Captain America. No. Because remember, Chris Evans was Human was Torch. torch. Uh, yeah. It's weird to think. Of, it's weird to think about now. But um. No. He upgraded. I, yeah. He upgraded. For sure. For sure. Uh, I think the one scene I hated when he, in that movie though was when he was on his bachelor party or whatever and he's dancing with all the other women he's like stretching his body and like uh, I, Do- you, I hope you Dr. Doom it. was the worst part of those movies yeah, that, was shit. that was shit it was actual like dog shit like, those movies were pretty God horrendous awful. they were horrendous yeah I, I did not like them. the right. only one I did like was Silver Surfer Silver Surfer was awesome yeah uh, we're going into the two thousands, tens now. The the what'd you say? The twenty tens or no? What'd you say? The, the, the twenty the decades? Next century? The 20, next century? No, the next century. Yeah, we're in the second century. Um, <laughs> this is where like every movie basically came out. All the DC, games. Marvel, all of it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in twenty eleven, we got Captain America. Oh shit! So I skipped ahead. Whatever. Uh, the Wolverine. You said you liked that one. Yada yada. Like um, favorite scene in Thor. The first Thor. Not a big fan of Thor. Nah, I wasn't a big fan of it. But did you have Or the scenes? second one. No. We don't talk about those. Um, But what about the first Ragnarok? one? Ragnarok. I oh. love Ragnarok. I'm skipping ahead, I know. But we're talking about Thor. We're on the topic Thor. I love Ragnarok. That shit is funny. My favorite scene is the opening. When he's caged up with uh, Surtur. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Is it Led Zeppelin? Leonard Skinner starts playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that shot where like he's being chased by the dragon in front of the sunset. That's it's my favorite scene. shot. Oh, that was such a badass scene. Yeah. yeah. Ragnarok Kate, is a good one. Kate Blanchett. Ooh. Ooh. She? Her as a goth, god witch, whatever lady. Yeah, she looked like, fine with the horns. Ooh. And the long hair. Ooh. She looks dirty as hell, but I'm like, you know what? I can rock with this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyways, 2011. The first Thor. Nah. Okay, honestly, the f- best part in that movie. The chick with the glasses. Don't even get me started. Oh my god! Please no, not you She's too. So, oh my god, you don't like? I don't, don't think. think so? Oh my I don't god, think, dude! Oh, you, I you don't need think, to get the fuck out of my face. Get I don't think Darcy is cute. Oh. I don't think she's funny. She's definitely not funny. You know, mew mew. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, <laughs> when Thor first arrives on Earth and like he gets run over like multiple times by Padme. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. He got when we got out of the hospital and he's just like. They're backing up. He's just walking all calmly. <laughs> Boom. Gets, gets run over again. <laughs> this drink. I like it. Another. <laughs> oh, when he gets a beer for the first time? I don't think it was a beer. Or was it coffee? I think it was just coffee. It was coffee, right? It was just coffee. Yeah, it was coffee. Um, yeah, we don't have to talk about the second that's one. That's it, really. Yeah, we don't have to talk about the second one. There's nothing really in Thor 2 I liked. I think like the scene of his mom dying and like being sent off. I think that was a beautiful scene. But... There's no fucking emotion towards it because we don't know shit about his mom. <laughs> no one ever went into depth with it. I, you know, you know what's my favorite part in the first Thor movie? That Anthony Hap, Anthony Hopkins, Anthony, Anthony Hopkins, Hopkins was Anthony so Hopkins. bored with the movie that he fell asleep during set. No shit. Well, yeah. Remember, Odin was knocked out for most of the fucking movie. Remember he, when he revealed to Loki that, like, oh, you're not really my true son, and Loki's yelling at him. He's just like, stop. <laughs> he passes out. <laughs> he goes oh, to sleep yeah. right after, and he sleeps for the rest of the movie. Damn. <laughs> was that was that improv or was that actually part of the script? No, no, that's part of the script. Oh. I'm saying, like, oh. as a joke, like, oh, he was so bored that he fell asleep during the entire movie. I guess it wasn't a good joke. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Avengers, the first one came out of that year. Those are great. It's good. Great series. It's weird because like it's so. It's weird to think about it's how not, old it is. It's not good. In oh. retrospect, but like, it's still good. I don't know it's how to explain Avengers. it. It's the Avengers. I guess. Best the scene Avengers. from that movie? Can't think of one right now. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. When I think my favorite scene is when they all fight for the first time. Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America. See, I don't really remember it. Well, because remember Thor tried like Iron Man and Thor start fighting first, and he's just like, "You don't know, you don't know what's going on." And Th- Tony looks around, and he's like, "Uh, Shakespeare in the Park." Does mother know you weareth her drapes? <laughs> and they get into a little fight, and then Captain America intervenes, and then Thor is like, uh, Captain America's like, put down the hammer. He's like, oh, you want me to put down the hammer? You want me to put down the hammer? And he like hits him, and then the vibranium just like sends a shockwave, and they all fall back. Yeah, that's right. That part was cool. Oh, pretty cool. But that's it. And then, other than that, the movie is just like, it's stupid fun. It's there. It's there. It's stupid fun. Yeah. Uh, what else did we get? Avengers two, Avengers two. That was the one with the worms, right? The worms, worms, earthworm. The worms. No, that was the one with uh Ultron. Yeah, the the silver thing. Yeah, I liked that one. That was alright. It was weird, but it was it was. I liked it. I liked it. It's weird. I don't like that movie personally because I think it's like the most boring generic movie. But yeah, it's the one that's like most important to the, the entire whole, series. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Like I, th- if it wasn't important, I'd like skip it. Like Thor two, but it's so important that like you have to watch it. You know what I mean? I didn't watch Thor two. I didn't bother with it. No one cares about that movie. <laughs> I didn't bother. With it's it. pretty or bad. Thor. It's pretty bad. Like, even the first Thor, I was like, I sat down, I watched it on cable, and I was like, eh, that's ain't it. Nah, that's ain't it. Uh, what else is there? There is DC started out their own movies. So, The Man of Steel. Did you have any favorite scene from that movie that you liked? Besides General Zod being like, I have no pee pee. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the only scene. <laughs> that was, that was the only scene. You know what? Yeah. I think the tornado scene where he's just like, Jonathan's <laughs> I'm going to go like, get that tornado. <laughs> <laughs> that tornado was too big for his heart. <laughs> oh, we, we just made a whole story about tornadoes. And I love head. that impro- I love that universe we were created where Jonathan Kent was just like, No, Clark. This tornado's for me. I got it. Ah! <laughs> I landed uh, in Alaska, uh, bitch. Shit. Yeah, he was dead as hell. <laughs> dead. <laughs> what shoes, shoes he got on? on? <laughs> His guys. All right. Uh, yeah. Superman. I think the fight scenes were cool, but I think even we talked about it during the commentary. It went on for too fucking long. Yeah, it was like five minutes of fighting. I'm like... I think, like, when we had a break, that was when Lois and Clark kissed after, like, half the city was gone. No, that's my favorite part, where the lady is just like, he did it. He saved us all. And, like, it was a big old, just, oh, ha- like, all of your city is just gone. He did what? Fucked up our town? You know how much money this could have cost us? He destroyed the Sears. He destroyed the IHOP. We got nowhere to go now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. That movie is something else. Yeah. I like it, but it's something else. I gotta say, it is something else. Um, we got a couple other movies, but I would be skipping a couple years. Yeah, uh, Logan. Let's talk about Logan. Oh, let's God. do it. I, I know you've been waiting. It made me cry. It was good. Uh, what, what's the best scene from that movie? Shit, when he like slashes through the fucking cartel. The beginning scene. Yeah, it wasn't cartel. It was just like some some assholes. Yeah, I thought that was badass. Uh, well, that scene. That was the first time we were like. Holy shit! Like, Cause like before, Wolverine doesn't kill. Well, he no, kills, no, he but, kills. But, but like, it's never been so that like the yeah. blood, the the it's the it's brutality. never been violent. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah, um, it craved it craved like it it fed the craving. For, I think for it being the last movie of anything related to Logan, I think it was very satisfying in a sense of like this is we finally end. get yeah. to see the claws and like like see who what really happens behind the. The X Men doors or yeah. some shit like that, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, meow, yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god, the movie's so good. It is. It's fucking. He's a, he's a taxi or a, a limo driver. He's basically like an Uber driver. Yeah, he's an Uber driver. Uber driver. <laughs> I think the two best scenes for me is when he dies. Oh. That whole scene was just emotional but oh. great. And then I think, I think the part where. <sighs> I think the part when Xavier has his uh, seizure. Which which time? When he gets yeah, to at the, at, at the, the casino? At the casino. Yeah, that was a badass scene. Because when they're like coming back and everything, like he's kind of sad or well, whatever. And on the news or on the radio, it says like, oh, uh, we felt some weird occurrence happen at the casino. Something like this hasn't happened since Westchester 
Westchester in New York, and that like gave you the implication like, oh shit, he killed the X Men. Yeah, you didn't piece that together. Fuck. Yeah, yo, because that's oh. why Logan had to sustain him in the first place. Remember, because if not, if it went on for too long, uh, Xavier was gonna kill everyone else that he was like freezing. But yeah, so um, on the radio it said like this same thing happened in Westchester. Uh, New York where the X-Men and then I think that's when like Logan turns off the radio so the implication there is like Charles Xavier had the seizure for for like the first time in a long ass time well I think it's just like the first time it happened oh. and in doing so that ended up killing like Holy most shit. of the X-Men so Gene Cyclops everyone are you alright you're like oh my god wow yeah well, during that scene, when he had the seizure, I think it was pretty badass. Wolverine was, like, crawling through on the walls. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was sick. I was like, yo. That's... And there's just like, that one guy, like, who was about he's to like, kill him. And he's, he's like, like that part was pretty cool. I was like, yo. God damn, and, dude, uh, you're, you're scaring the shit out of me, dude. You need to stop putting your foot up there. There goes the PS3. And the ending scene, of course, yeah. Like yeah. you said. Yeah. See, it makes me sad. Because well, the tears. thing was, like, he was Wolverine for, like, 17 years. At that point. And it, he showed his age in that movie. He did. Yeah. All those, the fucked up scene, whenever he helps him with the horses, and then the the clone uh, Wolverine comes out. Yeah. Oh, that scene was so fucked. When he kills Xavier. <gasps> oh. You weren't even thinking about that? Oh, I don't want to think about that. that. That scene was pretty fucking sad. Oh, my God. God damn it. Um, <sighs> That movie was tough. It's something else to watch, you know? Oh, my God. Um, what else did we get around that time? Uh, Iron Man 3. I like that one. That, that's theaters. another movie that I think is, like, underrated. People were like, no, it's, like, the worst Iron Man. No, fuck that. No, I saw it in theaters. I think it's pretty good. That's a fun movie. Yeah. I think the the movie I liked... The, 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 okay. The thing okay. I liked about that movie was, like, it showed Tony was Tony without the suit and all that. Um, the best part being probably, like, when he breaks into the mansion... And he doesn't have a suit or anything, but he's using like just a bunch of tools and gears he bought at like Home Depot. I like that. That was that was a cool scene. Yeah. What else did we get at? We got Wonder Woman. Yeah. We got Ant Man. Let's talk about Ant Man. Real quick, Wonder Woman. I don't want to. The best scene in that movie is the trench scene. That part was awesome. That part was pretty fucking cool. And Gal Gadot, love her. Beautiful. She's Wonder Woman. Um, Ant Man. We got Paul Ooh. Rudd as Ant Man. I love. I love that movie. That was a great fucking movie. It was funny. The jokes were actually pretty fucking good in that movie. Paul Rudd, he's good. He, <laughs> that's it. He's good. No, that's it. He's good. He's a dad. He, um, he's just got the dad vibe, and I loved him in uh, "I Love You, Man." Uh, this is forty. You remember? Yeah, this is 40? that was the one with Megan Megan Fox, right? Yeah, yeah, where she was. Uh, she, she was, was all, like all touching up her boobies. Yeah, and she's shit. like, oh yeah. I remember on for like the longest time after that movie came out. Early YouTube was just like Megan Fox sex, you know, like Nani, and I, I played it when I was like eleven, and it's just that same scene, just like slow one. I was like, oh. "There's something to this." I just my pants are tighter <laughs> for some reason. There's something about this that I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, but yeah, right. Ant Man was awesome. Love it. What's what? I think I love that movie too because like it's a heist. It is. It, it, and it is. It's a heist movie. Essentially, it's a heist movie. It's a great movie. What's the best scene from that movie, though? Man, shit. I think when all the ants are in the house, when he took off his uh his ankle monitor. Yeah. And all the ants are just cruising around in the house. Yeah. I liked that. I liked that. I was like, oh, that's cute. I think the little training scene when he's, like, getting ready and, like, the part when he's underground and he meets, like, the electro ants or whatever. He's like, oh, you're adorable, aren't you? And they're all crawling out. I'm like, ah! <laughs> he's all freaking out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Michael Penny was funny. He's funny. Um, okay. Hey, man, how have you been? I'm all right. My dad got deported. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend broke up with me, but I got the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah <that's> great. <laughs> great movie. Uh, it's funny. I love that movie. It's fun. It's a fun movie. Uh, Winter Soldier. Yeah. All right. You motherfucker! I know. You shut your fucking not, mouth. There's Sebastian fan. standing I'm, there. Don't okay. fuck with me. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm you let the demon out, brother. <laughs> oh shit, Spider-Man, real quick when he fights uh Randy Savage. 
<laughs> oh shit! I forgot about it's a nice that. Nice little suit. Who got that? Your boyfriend? <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Spider-Man, hold on a minute. Wait, 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 stop. Oh, shit. He, this he is PC off. culture. He went off. Oh, hey, shit. Freak Show, I got you for three minutes. A playtime, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, back to Winter Soldier. I'm not a big fan of Captain America. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, you smug I know. little poo-poo. I know. You could call me whatever, but I'm not a big fan of Captain America. Really? I think I think my favorite Marvel movie throughout, the, throughout all of them, I think it probably is... The Winter Soldier. I think that's my favorite movie, just because, like... You're missing one. But go ahead with your Captain America shit. What was that? Darth Vader? No. <laughs> no, you're missing a, a key one that was, like, great. It's great. We'll talk about it in a minute. I we'll think I know what you're talking about. You know exactly but what I'm talking about. The Winter Soldier. I like that one, because it was, like, a cool spy thriller. Um... <laughs> It was all right. I f- shut your freaking mouth, dude. I think the opening you want, scene. You want my honest opinion? The I'm opening. Tell you, it's I'm all talking about right. the best scenes. All right, I don't want your opinion, bitch. <laughs> I think I the opening. I don't remember scene. asking for your opinion, a bitch. <laughs> I think the opening scene when he's on the on the boat, like fucking throwing his shield, knocking out every guy. I'm like that part is pretty cool. When he fights Bucky for the first time, it's all right, man. I see my husband Bucky. I mean, shit, baby. Jesus Christ! Dude. What the fuck was That's that? That's the first one of the what podcast. No, I've done it, but they were all silent. No, this is the first one of the podcast. No, I know I farted during this podcast. Oh really? Yeah, it's just been. I, I noticed something was smelling a little weird. <laughs> um, God damn it, dude! Steam chili dogs. All right, but mm. yeah, that's it for me. One. That that's it for me. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, I, I knew yes. it. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Yes. So the great in the fucking queen. soundtrack. The soundtrack oh like God. made that both movie. movies, both movies, oh volume one and two. Mm, I love. I can't movies. find my first cassette of that one. I don't know what you did with it. I think you know what I think you did. I, I think, think you broke I, it with the Walkman. No, I think I, I think, uh, what's his name has it? Jeremy. Yeah, because remember he had the like little cassette player in his car. That's right. And we play. I think he has it. It's probably still in the Toyota. Yeah. Damn it. But anyways, <laughs> best scenes from that movie. Oh shit! Oh, let's see. From the first one, I think when they go to the bar with Rocket, and he starts losing his shit. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of emotional, really. It is in a little emotional scene. It is, or when they all start to meet. Uh, I think the the prison scene when they all break out. That was badass. I think scene. that's my favorite that scene because like it's like all right. We're going to need to get that thing last and Groot's just like grabbing it last minute. I need his eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fucked up. Rocket's weird obsession with like grabbing every limb that's artificial. He's like, and I need his arm. Uh, yeah. No, we don't. No, we, don't. we don't need his arm. <laughs> Michael, Michael Rooker's scene when he's uh, surrounded by like all the fucking. What's his name's character? Who's the bad guy in that movie? That was the, the purple turd. Kratos the Conqueror? No, that's not uh, Kratos. No, um, Kratos is God of War. <laughs> shit. Um, kills all of them just in one go. Seeing the Red Arrow. Oh my God. That was that, that movie. Oh, oh. See, a lot of people love that movie, but I think the second one's like slightly better. Yeah, it gets more emotional. More emotional. Way more. Uh, fucking, we, lose, we lose Rondu. Ra- Yondu. Yondu. Yeah. yeah. And we also find out how... His mother died. That, that part right was like, what? Kurt Russell. Oh my god. Kurt Russell was a like I think the he villains played th- a good good guy in the beginning villain when you find out. I think Kurt Russ Kurt Russell was like the beginning because at the time all the Marvel villains were kind of like just whatever to me. I think the only Marvel villain that stuck was Loki because it's Tom Hiddleston. Well, it's, it's Loki. It's and Loki. but other than that, like all the other villains were very like I didn't care for for Mickey Rourke, or I didn't care for Obadiah Stane. I didn't really care for uh, Hugo Weaving as Hell Hydra at Red Skull. I didn't care for that. But we also got, uh, sorry to cut you off. We got a, uh, uh, well, I forgot. Never mind. Go ahead. Well, what? I can't remember. Oh, okay. I forgot. Um, But Ego was like one of the first times, like, there was a good villain. That was, that was like a. And you understood his motives. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Because he explained it. Yeah. Oh, it's so still fucked, fucked though. It was so fucked up. But the He's best like, scene... it hurt when I had to put that tumor in her head. Oh, my God. I was like, 
I remember when I, when, said it. when I saw that movie for the first time, I was like, oh, oh you're going to no. die. You're going to fucking die. That okay. part when like, because Peter was just like being corrupted or whatever by the mm-hmm. power. Yeah. And then at that moment, he like snaps back to reality. Yeah, and it was Whoop, like, there goes reality. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Mom's, Mom's lasagna. Uh, uh, Dad's noki. <laughs> no. <laughs> Grandma's, Grandma's noki. ravioli. No, no. Uh, Come on, think Marshall. Think Marshall. <laughs> Uh, uh, the scenes with Nebula. I think Nebula had the best character development. She did, ha- she did have because she was just like a bad guy in the first one, and then and she then... turned good because she was tired of uh, Thanos. Thanos is crap. Speaking of which, okay, let's, let's start getting into Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, yes, we built it up. <sighs> Infinity War. There's so much more, but we're not gonna talk about every scene. But we're just gonna Black Panther real quick. Black Panther. Black Panther yeah. was like the best part of Civil War. It did show up, I forgot. And they saw the claw marks and they're like, fuck. Yeah. And the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay, okay. And after they what? get arrested yeah. and he's just like, so you like cats, huh? You like cats? <laughs> <laughs> but the, one of my favorite scenes from that, okay, there's two favorite scenes. Okay. There's the first one where like when they're still getting arrested and they're being brought back and he's just like, uh, you know, my father died, so that makes me the king or, or whatever. So he's just like, let me ask you something, Captain, uh, I'm going to butcher this so hard because I don't remember the exact line, but he's just like, like as a king to a soldier, how long can you keep your friend safe from me? I'm like, oh, he's calling shots. He's about to beat the yeah. shit. He's going to kill Bucky. Mm-hmm. God damn. Um, but when, when they were Tony and him were fighting, or whatever, and T'Challa like kind of forgives Zemo because he's just like, it's like uh, anger has or revenge has consumed you. It's consuming them. I am done letting it consume you. Like, that was the best, like, character growth and everything yeah. in that movie. I love that. Um, okay, now let's go back to Infinity War and Endgame. Let's cap it up, because yeah. the podcast is going on for a bit yeah. long. It's a long-ass podcast. Yeah, fuck it. Infinity War. What was your favorite scene? None of it. Didn't like it. <laughs> That's a lie. No. I think... Fuck, there's so many good scenes, though. There is. But I think, like, my ultimate, like, favorite scene was the ending. Because of the fact that, like, it was Thanos' movie. So when we see him succeed and he's there, like, just kind of stumbling. Well, he snaps. Sitting, he snaps. Well, that part. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, the end end after yeah, they well, all they realize. All start turning to dust. No, not that part. Further. Not that part. Like, the last scene of the movie where he's just there, like, walking out of the hut. And he sits down and he's just like. <sighs> and it just ends like that. That's like that one of my favorite best, ending. One of I was the best like, Whoa. you're like, what the fuck's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? We had to wait a full year for that shit. Dude. Holy shit. We yeah. did. We were in high school. Yeah. Holy shit. But yes, the snap part, that part was like pretty fucked up because like Well, you saw Samuel and he's like, What the f-? Yeah. And it just <laughs> he's trying to you contact Captain was Marvel. Was like, mother f-, <laughs> and fades yeah. away. But no, the thing that was crazy about that part because like I mean, I knew this because I read the comic books or whatever. Yeah. He snaps, that happens. But the thing was, like, that was, like, so dark of a movie. I'm like, are they actually going to do that in a live-action Marvel movie where, like, half the time they always win? But they did. And, like, you see Bucky go. You see uh, T'Challa. <laughs> and you see fucking... <laughs> when Sam disappears, he faces the dust. And then War Machine's, like, right behind him, like, Sam? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> where'd you where go? go? <laughs> Pulled a Batman on him. <laughs> uh, when Spider Man dies. Uh, oh, yeah. The Guardians He's half. Like, I don't feel so good, Tony. That part was emotional. That when was I first because saw Tony was like, oh, are you going to be okay? Oh, my Yeah, God. Tom Holland was doing a good job like in the acting part. He's like, I don't yeah. want to go. I don't want to go. Oh, when God. I first saw it, I was like, oh, God. Oh, but now, because of memes, I'm like, <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Tony. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. There were so many memes about that. Yeah. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Just the train scene when like Wanda and Vision were about to get killed, and then like the trains passes by and it starts playing like da 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 da, and then Captain America fades out, but like he comes in with like, the full grown beard and the longer hair, like oh shit, <laughs> shit's about to go down. That was bad. When Thanos takes out Vision's stone. <laughs> that part was fucked up because like Wanda just, just killed him and then yeah. Thanos was like, all right, double time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He just pulled it out like it was nothing. What about you? My favorite scene? Like favorite scenes are at that movie. In Infinity War? Man, I couldn't tell you. Really? I couldn't tell you. 
honestly. You can choose like top five or something. Oh. I think when they meet Thor. <laughs> ah! oh, when he's missing an eye? Yeah. Ah! Shit, yeah. Wipers! Get him <laughs> off! <laughs> I think that was a good scene. The That's opening funny. scene. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. When he's fighting with uh, Loki. Yeah. And he's trying to get the cube. Fuck, what do you call that thing? Yeah. What the cube? The, the cosmic cube. Yeah. The, the cosmic cube space drone trying... or whatever. Yeah. And you get the weird, oh, shit. Uh, shit, when Tony, Tony and who else was it? They were fighting the, the squid. Oh, uh, squid squid word. Word. <laughs> Dr. Think, Strange yeah. and Tony. Yeah, I thought that was a funny scene. He's like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone. Mr. Stark, what's happening? Uh, you know. I'm Squidward and a wizard. <laughs> You're embarrassing Go. me in front of the wizards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. That opening part, though, when Loki's just like, ah, we have a Hulk. And, like, Hulk comes in, but then fucking Thanos just, like, MMA is, like, beats the shit out of Hulk <laughs> and just, like, Holds him and just throws his body down. Jeez. Yeah, he beat the shit out of him. You you don't realize how big Thanos is until he's fighting Hulk. Mm-hmm. Which, honestly, watching that part, it kind of made me mad because it made me realize how, like, underpowered they made the Hulk. Because in the comics, he's fucking, like, Hulk is he, powerful. Yeah. But in the movies, like, he's just kind of... Kind of there. Yeah, he's kind of there. He's got to he's gotta put in some... Stuff. Thor Ragnarok real quick. <laughs> when... <laughs> So remember I told you in The Incredible Hulk, like he falls down and he's like, oh shit, and he falls through. They basically recreated that scene because remember Mark Ruffalo was like in the Oh in the in barn? The, in the car. <laughs> he's yeah, he's yeah. in the cockpit and he's just like he's like, You want to know who I was? She's like, huh? I'll show you who I am. And he jumps down like as the wolf's chasing him, he just his body just slams down and breaks <laughs> and falls on the he's like, yeah, you're on the rainbow naked. bridge. <laughs> no, he wasn't butt naked, but he just like falls down and just like <laughs> just dead essentially. Oh shit. Best scene in Endgame? Um uh, shit. When all the Avengers come in. Like yeah. whole MCU just fucking all the, the, the what do you call those things? The circles that Doctor Strange. Scene. Yeah. The portal oh, scene God, was the best. Dude. Did you tear up? Oh, I teared up yeah. because like watching that scene, what I I don't know. I think the thing that was emotional about that is like we were watching these movies since we were like what seven shit yeah eight years old at the time so watching that like watching what happened over the last 10 years and just seeing every character come out like like oh there's i'm we've seen iron man since 2008 we've seen hulk since 2008 um we've seen you know hawkeye since thor yeah. thor's been around since forever captain Mar- all that scene uh when he lifts the hammer as well Captain America. Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, he's worthy. Uh, that part was. Oh yeah, and he's like, Whoom. that part was amazing. Yeah, when I mean, he's just like get the fucking shit out of here. Man, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. part was the best though. He's like, he is worthy. Yeah. He's all fat. I think it was interesting just like seeing them all time travel in the first place. Between the portal scene and what was it? Just seeing Thor gaming. And oh, you Korg? play Fortnite? Yeah. <laughs> hey man, uh, new master sixty nine is back. Can you can you tell him off for me? <laughs> <laughs> movie's He's so all dumb. drunk. Oh, that's a great movie. It's funny. I love that. It's movie. a good ending. It's a good ending. It's sad seeing Tony. Yeah. Oh man, the snap. I wasn't even thinking about that. The snap itself when Tony did it. Yeah, because Thanos was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Huh?" And he's like, "And I like, am Iron, Iron Man." man. Oh. That part was just, that was amazing. I want to go home and watch it now. Fuck yeah. I bought it because I hadn't seen it in theaters because I couldn't get a ticket to go see it. Really? And I bought it on Xbox because they were doing the whole COVID uh, exclusive. You could buy it and watch it at home. Yeah. And I bought it. I paid like $25 for it. 4K. Jeez. It was worth it. Yeah. I Fuck watched yeah. it. It's a good I movie. Stayed up. I stayed up throughout the whole movie and Matt fell asleep. His... Female companion. <laughs> That's one way was, to put it. Was there also, and she's like, "Yeah, I saw it in theaters." I was like, "All right, I'll watch it. Fuck it, I want to watch it." It was she's great. Like, it was a good ending to. Man, oh my god. Cap it off, and even though we still have like a bunch of the Marvel movies going out now, um, I think that was the end. Yeah. Or, like this is now like the beginning of a new chapter and all that. Yeah, blah, like blah. new characters and all that. Eh. But I think I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, like because they're now they're trying to get into like the multiverse and all that. Yeah. Hence. You know, Tobey Maguire. What's that, what's that one? Chang Hee or something? Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Or actually, no, it's pronounced Shang Chi. I believe Shang Chi. That that's been that's been getting a lot of good ratings lately. Like, 
good ratings. I think it has like a 97 on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Oh, damn. Yeah, and I'm like, it's got to be good. That's that's good for Rotten Tomatoes. And like, Shang-Chi is going to be introduced in like the Mandarin, but like the real one. Not not Trevor, the, the actor. I'm Trevor. I'm an actor. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah. I, I, I liked Endgame. I think it was... I think they used all they could, and it worked out yeah. perfectly. Yeah. Perfectly. I think other than the portal scene, because the portal scene, I think that's like my favorite, like I said, comic book, like super uh, grandiose, weird. That scene was weird. Like, I, lo- I love weird shit in movies. Yeah, yeah I think it's... I think it's about time, because yeah, the podcast has been going on yeah. <laughs> forever. Yeah. But, yeah, this was a long one. Mm-hmm. That's okay. <laughs> shit. Shit baby. Shit, baby. This is a long one. But uh yeah, that's that's it. If we missed any certain scenes that you think was like the best scene, let us know. Comment, please. Subscribe, maybe. <laughs> Subscribe. Uh yeah. Uh real casts will be doing this hopefully next week. We'll talk about some things next week. Some cool things are happening. Oh yeah. And uh Yeah. And yeah. So remember Real Cast is on Apple. It is on Spotify and the YouTube portion gets released on fridays so yeah but the remember the podcast on apple and everything else those will go on on like tuesdays wednesdays yeah. uh i've been ambrose i've been christian and we'll see you guys next time